Hello, wonderful people. We have an amazing geometry question to solve. Very interesting question, okay? The question says we should find the area of this portion, okay? This is not drawn to scale, and this is a rectangle. Then the area of this place is 27, the area of this portion is 12, and the area of this portion is 15. Now, to make this diagram clearer, let us name this A, B, C, and D. Now, let's call this E and F, okay? So, the question says we should find the area of triangle EFC. Now, area of triangle EFC, so the area of triangle EFC is going to be equal to the area of the rectangle, which is A, B, C, D, minus the sum of the area of these three angles given, three triangles given, right? So it should be minus. If we sum this, should be, let's continue from here. So minus 27 plus 12 plus 15. Now you can see that what is preventing us from getting the area of this portion is just the area of this rectangle, which is rectangle A, B, C. Now first, what is the area of a rectangle, the formula? So area of rectangle A, B, C, D is equal to, now let us name the sides of the rectangle, okay? If B, C, let's call B, C, small a, and call D, C, small b. Now area of a rectangle is length times breadth, so it's going to be B times A, okay? So the area of this rectangle is B times A or A times B. So, if we're able to get the value of A and then get the value of B, then we are done. We just subtract the sum of this from whatever we got. All right. Now, how do we get that? Now, let us read the mind of this exam. Now, why? Of all the values to give us, the examiner decided to give us the areas of these three sides, these three triangles. It's just showing us that the area of these three triangles will point us to the answer we are looking for. So let us go to area of triangles, okay? So, um, <clears throat> area of triangle is equal to half base times height. Half base times height. Now, let us tackle this. If BC is A, okay, then DA is also small a again. Note that BC is equal to DA, which is equal to small a. So if we call df x, or let's call it y, if we call this place y and call e b x, all right? If we call e b x and df y, then it simply means that f a or a f. So a f should be equal to the whole of this, that is d a, which is a minus d from here to here, which is y. So we can name here a minus y. All right. Similarly, if a b is equal to d c, a b is equal to d c, which is small b. Okay, and e b is x. Then a b, a e sorry, from here to here should be equal to a b, which is small b minus e b which is x so here will be b minus x all right i think i'm done with this now like i said the examiner gave us the areas of these three triangles let us use it to get to our answer now area of a triangle is half base times height okay so for triangle let's start with triangle c d f for triangle CDF, the area, which is 27, is equal to half of the base. The base is B, and the height is Y. So this is equal to, this implies that 27 is equal to half B, Y. All right? Now, if we make Y the subject of the formula here, Let's cross multiply. If we cross multiply, you have 27 times 2, which is 54, is equal to BY. So this implies that Y is 54 
over b okay all right so we have gotten the value of our y let's write it somewhere y in terms of b you are going to see why soon so we have that y is equal to 54 divided by b all right Similarly, similarly, for triangle, for triangle B, C, E, for triangle B, C, E, the area, which is 15, is equal to half multiplied by the base, which is X, times the height, which is A. So we have 15 is equal to AX divided by 2. If we cross multiply, we have 15 times 2 is 30 is equal to AX. Now let's make X the subject of the formula. So we divide by A, divide by A. So we have X is equal to 30 over A. So let's write it out. X is equal to 30 over A. Are you there? <laughs> now, let us go to the main place where we can get the value of our A and B together. Okay? Now, first of all, we are yet to find, we are yet to use this other triangle, triangle E, A, E, F. Okay? So, for triangle A, E, F, all right, the area, which is 12, is equal to half multiplied by the base, which is B minus X, multiplied by the height, which is A minus Y. Now, we have to substitute. Remember that our intention is to get A, B. So we need to substitute X in terms of B and Y. In terms of, we need to substitute x in terms of a, just like we got here, and y in terms of b, so that everything we have here is going to be in terms of a and b. So using that, we can try to get what we want. So first, let us multiply both sides by two. So twelve times two will give us twenty-four is equal to b minus x multiplied by a minus y. Now let's substitute. So we have 24 is equal to B minus. Now X is what? 30 over A. Brackets A minus Y is 54 over B. All right. So we have 24 is equal to B times A is AB. B times minus 54 over B. B multiplied by minus 54 over B. This we cancel this. We are left with minus 54. Okay. Also, minus 30 over A multiplied by A. This we cancel this. We are left with minus 30. And minus 30 over A multiplied by minus 54 over b okay so we are going to have minus 30 times minus 54 which will give us plus 30 multiplied by 54 divided by a b right a times b is a b all right now this is what we have at this point we need to okay let's collect like terms first or let's simplify this for that. We have 24 is equal to AB. Minus 54 minus 30 will give us minus 84. So we have minus 84. Then plus. Let's use our calculator so that this will be faster. Okay. So we have. Um, sorry. I need to clear this. Okay, so now we have 30 multiplied by 54, which will give us 1620, 1620 divided by AB. 
okay so to clear this fraction we are going to multiply through by a b all right so multiply through by a b if this is the first time you are seeing this amazing channel and this amazing face <laughs> please click the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos all right we upload our videos as much as we can I don't know if I've said this before. <laughs> so tune in at your convenience to watch our new upload. Then give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. If you're a returning subscriber, just know that I had you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Now, let us multiply through, multiply both sides by AB. So if we do that, we have 24 times AB which will give us 24AB is equal to AB times AB is AB squared minus 84 times AB minus 84AB. Then this AB, we cancel this, we just have plus 1620. All right. Now, let us transfer this to this side. If we do that, we have 0 is equal to AB squared, okay? Because this is AB squared a b squared then this becomes minus 24 a b minus 84 a b plus 1620 okay so zero is equal to a b squared then let's solve this minus 24 minus 84 will give us minus 108 so you have minus 108 a b plus 1620 so, if you look at this, you can see that we have a quadratic equation because quadratic equation is in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Just that in this case, our x is what? a, b. All right? Okay. So, let us solve this using quadratic equation formula since we cannot use our factorization method. Remember that we are going to get two values of a, b, and we are going to choose one, okay? So watch to the end and see how we did that. All right. So here, remember that to get AB, okay, is going to be equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC, everything divided by 2A, okay? All right. Permit me to fill this in. I'll be back. <coughs> I'm right back. Okay. So in this case, sorry that this is also in terms of A, B. In this case, remember that our A is what? The coefficient of A, B squared, which is 1. Our B, our B is equal to coefficient of A, B, which is minus 108. And our C is our constant, which is 1620. Okay. So if we substitute these values here, we are going to have that AB is equal to minus minus 108 will give us 108 plus, right? Then plus or minus the square root of, now B squared, that is minus 108 squared minus 4AC, 4 multiplied by, our A is 1. And our C is 1620. Everything divided by 2A, that is 2 multiplied by 1, which is still 2. All right. Now we have AB is equal to. 108 plus or minus now we have the square root of so 108 squared remember that we are using our calculator 108 raised to the power of 2 is 11,664 minus 4 times 1 6 um, 4 times 1 6 2 0 we give us 6 Four eight zero divided by two, so you have a b is equal to one o eight plus or minus the square root of. So we have one one 
six six four minus six four eight zero that is five one eight four okay divided by two so a b is equal to 108 plus or minus so we have square root of 5184 <clears throat> which is 72 divided by 2. So we have two values of AB here. So the first value of AB is equal to 108 plus 72 divided by 2. The second value of AB is equal to 108 minus 72 divided by 2. So that means AB is equal to, so let's solve the first one, 108 plus 72, 180. And 180 divided by 2 is 90. Then the second one, 108 minus 72 is 36. Okay? And 36 divided by 2 is 18. Now let us choose the one that is supposed to be our AB. Now, note that AB is the area of this whole triangle, this whole rectangle, and it shouldn't be less than the sum of this, this, and this, okay? So, definitely, 18 cannot be the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is 90. You yeah, have seen that you have gotten our AB. So, let us go ahead and solve. Now, remember that the area of EFC is going to be equal to the area of the rectangle. So area of triangle EFC is equal to area of the rectangle, which is 90 minus 27 minus 12 minus 15. Okay, the areas of these triangles. So this is equal to, let us solve and get that. Okay, so we have 90 minus 27 minus 12 minus 15 so the answer is 36 36 units squared thanks so much for watching see you in my next video